Hello everyone, it's Holy Week. We're going to take an approach of Holy Week that's a bit different than we've been doing on our daily messages. In other words, as we walk from now to Sunday, Easter Sunday, as we go through each day, we're actually going to consider the seven, they call it the seven words of the seven last sayings from the cross. So each day there will be a, a scripture given and uh, some reading done. And these are primarily taken from some work Max Lucado did uh, you've heard me talk about Max before, just as a great way with words. But I would ask that each day this week that you would contemplate then this part of this journey um, to the crucifixion and to ultimately the resurrection. Uh, in other words, these are profound sayings that Jesus uh, says from the cross, and each one of them can be examined a lot deeper than we're going to do in just a moment. But maybe as a person or as a family, this will give you a way maybe to dive into the Gospels, maybe uh, search more than one Gospel, because each Gospel writer's account of the last week of Jesus is different. Things are included in one that aren't in the other, and compiled together, they give us the whole story. So uh, anyway, this is the first word. This is found in Luke chapter 23, verses 33 and 34. When they came to the place called the Skull, they nailed Jesus to the cross there. And the two criminals, one on his right and one on his left, Jesus said, Forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. Come down from the cross if you are the Son of God. If you are the King of the Jews, save yourself. He saved others, but he can't save himself. Bitter words, acidic with sarcasm, hateful, irreverent. Wasn't it enough that he was being crucified? Wasn't it enough that he was being shamed as a criminal? Were the nails insufficient? Was the crown of thorns too soft? Had the flogging been too short? The words thrown that day were meant to wound, and there is nothing more painful than words meant to hurt. These verbal stones were meant to sting. How Jesus with a body racked with pain, eyes blinded by his own blood, and lungs yearning for air, could speak on behalf of some heartless thugs, is beyond comprehension. He looked down from the cross at the people who had scourged him, beaten him, spat upon him, and shouted for him to die. He could have condemned them, but he didn't condemn them. Instead, he loved them. It is compassion that speaks. Compassion that compelled him to the cross. Compassion that brings the incredible, unbelievable grace. Compassion that echoes through the centuries. Compassion that cries out from the cross, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do.